Hi, I'm Heather from SpirographicArt.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this design. You will need the ring number 150 over 105, the larger ring, and wheel number 84. So to start, line up the hole number one in the wheel with one of the marks on the side of the ring and draw the pattern. Round we go. It's a five pointed pattern. Now line up hole number two with the pattern you drew already and then move it over two teeth and then draw that pattern. Round we go. Next line up hole number three with the pattern you just drew with hole number two and move it over two teeth and draw the pattern with hole number three. And then you continue like that. Each time, line up the hole with the pattern you just drew, move it over two teeth, and then draw the pattern. Each time you're moving to a higher numbered hole, a hole that is a little bit further inside. So you can see the loops get bigger, and they get further away from the edge of the ring. I'll speed up the video a little bit. I don't really draw this fast. You can see the loops are getting a little bit fatter just as they are as they're getting further away from the edge of the ring. It gets a little harder as you move to the higher numbered holes to line up the hole with the pattern you just drew. With experience you'll learn a few tricks for lining them up. Here I've switched to a different color. You can see how I rock the wheel back and forth a little bit to make sure that the new hole is going to be lined up with the pattern I just drew. Make sure it's following the same line and then move it over your two teeth. It does get trickier as you move inward. To make it a little easier, you can line the pen up with the line corresponding to the hole that you just drew and then move the wheel to align the line associated with the next hole to that same spot and then move it over two teeth. It gets harder and harder to eyeball. And then you might have to follow the line to the hole. Make sure you use the right hole or your pattern will go all screwy. You can stop at any time. At a certain point you might feel like the pattern is finished or it just becomes too difficult and you're worried that you're going to make a mistake and ruin your nice work. See how the pentagon in the middle gets smaller and smaller as you go along. There, I'm finished. That's it for now. Check out spirographicart.com for lots more spirographic goodness and be sure to subscribe.